cervical cancer. It is one of the most common cancers affecting women all over the world. We have very good screening tests available for it, which can detect the cancer in early stages and even in pre-invasive state. Even vaccines are available for this cancer, which can give almost 70 to 80 percent protection against this cancer. Still, this cancer continues to be a major public health problem because of lack of awareness and lack of resources. The cancer can be totally asymptomatic in early stages and once the symptoms develop, the patient might be in advanced stages where the patient loses the window of surgery and hence the chances of complete cure. If the patient presents to us early, the patient can almost be cured by surgery alone and she might not even require any form of adjuvant treatment in the form of chemotherapy or radiation. Let us hear the success story of one such patient, Cotabil, who came to us all the way from Mauritius to get treated for an early stage cervical cancer. Hi, I'm Cotabali. I'm from Mauritius. I had a bleeding sign six months. My doctor took my biopsy and I was told I had the cervical cancer. After this, I came to Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Hospital where I met Dr. Vandana. The patient was quite distressed. She had abnormal bleeding for almost around six months. She came to my OPD. I examined her. It was a small tumor on the cervix and all, on examination all the tissues appeared free. So she was clearly an operable case. I got some further tests done on her like a PET CT and an MRI. They also suggested early disease. I counseled the patient that we will need to go in and remove the uterus with the surrounding structures. We would like to preserve her ovaries since she is very young and she will require them for future hormonal support. She quite agreed to it and she was fully motivated to go ahead with surgery. Uh, Dr. Vandana examined me and explained everything to me. She got uh, some scan done for me and told that I will require surgery which uh, will cure me. So I went ahead with surgery. I clearly remember the evening before surgery. I went for my usual rounds. She was alone in her room and when I met her, she just held my hands and said, Doctor, please take care of me. I have small children. I was really overwhelmed. That amount of faith she has put in me and I had to, of course, give more than my 100%. The next day, we took her to OT and I could perform a radical hysterectomy, open radical hysterectomy with adequate margins, adequate parametrium. I did a complete pelvic and paraortic nodal clearance. The nodes were not suspicious and we also preserved the ovaries and transposed them above the pelvic brim in case she required radiation later on. The surgery went very well and the patient was shifted to ICU and then to the ward. Everything went very well. Dr. Vandana took good care of me. I appreciate uh, Dr. Vandana. Uh, everybody in the hospital was very cooperative. I'm flying back uh, home today uh, with a smile on my face. The patient was discharged on day 5 of surgery, she was accepting feeds, she had pass motion, she had no pain and she was very comfortable. So she came back to us on day 17, we have removed all the sutures, she is passing urine comfortably. Her report has come out and it is a small tumour and rest every tissue, the nodes we removed, the parametrium, everything is free of tumour. So it's an absolutely early stage disease and she does not require any form of adjuvant therapy, be it radiation or chemotherapy. She's really happy that now she can go back home, back to her family and enjoy her life. So I wish her all the best. And of course, she has to come back to us time to time for her routine checkups. 
and also I would like to emphasize she has two young girls and I, I have told her to get them vaccinated because we have a very good vaccine against this cancer. Thank you.